Antonio Kulak set for Glasgow. Miracle. Ah, uh, this week, you know what? Made it a bit of good news since Aribo's away. I mean, this looks like what they rejected it to, so it's probably around, I think they want it, what, 2.2 million? Um, it says here the Croatian International has been lined up for a move to Ibrox some time with both a fee and personal terms for what they've been agreed. But uh, Panimpiakos, I mean, someone said I say Olympiakos. No, it's Panimpiakos, is it not? Well, no, it's not Olympiakos, but it's the pronunciation of P-A-O-K. Not Panimpiakos, pretty sure it is. Um, we're not ready to complete the transfer until they'd find a replacement, but it looks like they've found that replacement. Um, but now the 28-year-old is on his way to the city to complete his medical, as BBC journalist Fraser Fletcher also reported early on the 6th of July. Kolak closing in on Gers. Um, oh, wait, I mean, look at that. Maybe 1.8 million. I mean, I'm just... I mean, must, there must be, like, different fees, like add-ons that's going to be getting added to that, but I don't know, I mean... This has been a deal that's dragged on for weeks, and I'm not, it's not exactly, you know, it's not groundbreaking this signing. Like, this is not when we signed Kent for, like, sign million, sign million, seven million. I mean, this is just, I don't really rate this guy. I hope he proves me wrong, but we're losing Joe Rebo, and we're bringing in fucking Kolak. That just says everything you need to know, but, yeah, sadly, I think he's gone, Joe Rebo. Uh, in terms of Kolak, looks like he'll be in before the end of the week, something like that. And I'll say before the end of the week, today's Wednesday, yeah, I should be in around Friday if it all goes to plan. 1.8 million is not an awful lot to lose, but, you know, I, I, I don't really get, though, why is the guy getting games for Malmo, but he can't get games for Pinaviacos? Like, what are their strikers like? Don't really know. Um, but with loads of players with only 12 months remaining, which is a bit sad when you think of it, um... He's not expected, though, to leave their training camp to head to Glasgow. Looks like he is. He'll undergo a medical, and then he will join up with the Ranger squad, potentially, later this week. So hopefully that is completed. But in terms of a Rebo update, um, Southampton's still in negotiations. But it says Rangers are determined to hold out for a package which amounts to £10 million. Hopefully we get £10 million plus like a 20% sell-on fee or something. That would be the ideal move. But I feel like when you've got a move where the release clause is so low, and he's already in the 12 months for me, and we're not going to have much say in a fucking release clause, to be honest. You know, would you rather him go for like 8 million and get the release, uh, the sell on fee? Probably, but you never really know. But Joe Rebo, if he leaves, I wish him the guy the, I wish the guy the best, to be honest, but should have signed him fucking down to a contract. But anyway, Joe Rebo set to leave, Kolak set to come in. Not particularly great business, in my opinion, but. We'll have to back the guy, won't you?